Hey, so I have got my first perfume tray out, and Stash has got to check it out too. I apologize. I don't, he has a crate, but I don't like to put him in the crate unless I have to, and it's usually when I'm not here. So I did get some perfumes together to put on the tray for this week. I'm going to tell you guys what they are. Some of them probably have a little backstory, and I'll kind of, you know, go over that, and then what I'm going to try to do next week is kind of tell you what I thought about it. Am I going to get rid of them? I just need to go through some. So I'm trying to pick oldies but goodies. Uh, some that, you know, were had their rounds 10 years ago. Some that are new. What You know, to kind of mix it up a little bit. And so when I do my, my perfume tray video next week, I can tell you the outcome of this and tell you what's for next week. And... You know, that should be about a 20, 25 minute video. Um, I had a couple people mention on Facebook and uh, YouTube about uh, my injuries. I'll just tell you that first, really, because I'll forget. My, I hurt my finger. Here's my boo-boo. I swear if I hit this thing hard, it would open up and bleed again. It is bad. But I, And I, I hurt my, I tore my meniscus practice in a dance. So that's how I did that. And that's my stupid fault for not stretching. I don't dance as much as I used to line dance because where I live, there's just not a whole lot of it going on. So, um, but anyway, this was pretty deep. I mean, I know it just looks like a scratch. It does hurt, but um, I've got the liquid bandage on it today because I had to wear a bandaid on it for two days because it kept bleeding. But anyway, I'm, I'm going to tell you this little story because so you don't ever do it if you haven't already done it before. I burn my candles, like, and I'm not talking about a little Glade candle, I'm talking about, or Bath & Body Works, this is a big, tall jar of candle, um, but no matter what it is, I don't usually burn them on a wooden surface, because I have had candles get down to the bottom before, and the whole jar explodes, and I just feel like, if that did, if it exploded like that, and I didn't have my eyes on it, might not because the the wax could drown it out but i just feel like it could catch on fire easier so i'm bad about putting my candles on um something that would not catch on fire if the if it so i had the candle burning on my dresser my dresser is wooden but the top is marble and i also burn candles on my granite kitchen counter and the table beside of me has a thick glass. It's not a thin glass. That I would I would be afraid of a thin glass, like my coffee table is thin glass, um, just because it would it could crack that glass too. But I just I'm more comfortable if I've got candles burning, burning them on a surface that wouldn't catch on fire as easy, or any have anything around them. Well, that's what happened, and the candle went out, so um, it didn't completely shatter. It looked like, when I walked in my bedroom, I just noticed that the candle had burned out the day before. And it the jar was, uh, I, I was like, oh, it burned all the way out. So I went to grab it to throw it away. And when I did, I noticed it was stuck. And I really didn't know why it didn't, I did this without thinking. I didn't know why it would be stuck to the marble top of my dresser. And so I grabbed it hard and what had happened was the glass on the marble had gotten so hot as it got down to the marble or to the bottom so that it was glass on marble that it shattered the candle and then I mean it was it went out anyway it probably it could have shattered before it even went out but none I didn't see any of this I mean I'm in here I'm aware you know but I didn't know but it just so happened that right before it went out I guess it got so hot that it shattered the candle. And then from it cracking, some of the, the wax leaked out and it was stuck like glue. And I didn't realize what had happened. So when I grab it, this jar, and it was a it was a good size jar. It was like maybe one of those jars like you see the glass jars in TJ Maxx or something in some of the bigger candles. Um, but the also the wax coating had held it together. So there was no visible breakage at all. 
I mean, to, uh, now if I would have walked up and inspected it, I would have seen that it was cracked all over. But so when I grabbed it, it just, my finger went through the glass and it just kind of fell apart. So that's what happened. But be careful when you burn candles on a surface like that, even though they're less likely to just catch on fire, it's going to drown out before it catches on fire. If it shatters and it stays together and you, you might not see it and I'm not stupid when it comes to candles, but that was just the label of the candle was what I could mainly see. So I, I, the cracks weren't visible, but it had already done that the day before, like shattered and was still like statute. So literally when I snatched it, I just grabbed broken glass. It just shattered two big pieces went on the floor. I mean, that could have been really bad because like I said, it was, it was a stout size glass candle. So that's what happened to my finger. And I was going to tell you guys that on the last video and I ran out of time. Let's do this perfume tray. So at first I was going, I'm trying to do this fast because it is supposed to get rowdy here today. We're supposed, we've got tornado watches. Um, so they're kind of keeping an eye out because we do have a possibility of one happening. And right now it's not raining. He gets really scared when you can hear rain or when the wind cuts up. So if you hear that little bit of music in the background, it's a doggy calming video I've got playing. It's supposed to calm them down. I hope that they don't take my video down because there's music playing in the background. But anyway, so well, let's do this. I initially said I was going to do 20. First of all, my perfume tray doesn't even hold 10. Obviously, you can see I've got two sitting here on the couch. I was going to go to Home Goods the other day and get I thought I had one, and if I did, or if I do, I don't know where it's at right now. Maybe I just looked at it, but it's it's a perfume tray just like this one. You get them from Home Goods, and it's got the little uh, crystals around it. Maybe I just looked at it, but there was a bigger one with crystals all around it, and I, there's a possibility I gave it away when I moved. But it was bigger, and it would have it would have easily held 15 perfumes. So what I'm going to do? I'm going to do 10 at a time. And I'm going to wear them. And I did, I did correct this. I always read my comments and read my description. I did correct this. When I said I, I, I never wear or I always wear one perfume at a time, that is not what I meant to say. When I said I was going to do 20, it's because I never wear only one perfume in one day. Even if I'm not doing a combo, I'll spray three or four different perfumes, not even at the same time, like four or five hours later, before I go to bed, after I get out of the shower, after I get out of the tub. Just whatever. So I can go through four perfumes a, a day real easy. You all right back there? Okay. <clears throat> so this is going to be pretty quick. I'm not going to drag it out. I'll probably talk a little bit about each one. Backstory. Some of you guys have seen these before. But it's a, it's a good way to kind of go through my collection. And I'm going to try not to repeat it too often. There may be like six months from now I may show you this again. But that's just because I put it back on the perfume tray. But I'm going to try to mix it up and really pull from my collection. Like uh, shopping my stash. Stash, did you hear your name? Okay, so this is the peach one by Kim Kardashian. I love this. Um, I know it's kind of cheesy and it's kind of cheap. I had... Oh, I just sprayed this. I love this so much. Um... It's just peach. It's just a cheap smelling peach, but it's, I love peach. So, um, what was I going to say? Oh, I had Crystal Gardenia Oud. I think I sold that one. And now I think I only have Crystal, Crystal Gardenia. And then I have the Kardashian that's in the round black bottle. I think I have two bottles of that. I think, and then this. If I'm not mistaken, that's the only Kardashian, Kim Kardashian perfumes I have. So anyway. I didn't really, I haven't sprayed anything in several hours, so I just wanted to smell that one. This is, oh my gosh, it's called Asia or Aja, A-S-J-A. -A. Let me see if I can tell you who makes it. I can't. Uh, if I remember, I'll look it up. But this stuff, I bought, before I bought this full bottle, I have uh, a miniature bottle of this. It's tiny. It's, you know, probably like the .17, but the bottle kind of looks the same. And I love this so much. If anybody, if you like opium, not black opium, but if you like opium, um, you would you would like this a lot better. I don't think I have opium. I think I had opium at one time. I might still have it. But this smells better than opium. But
but it's that oriental fragrant you know scent that but this is this is amazing so i'm gonna wear this some this week i brought this one out because i wanted to i wanted you to see this one i also have the um the regular size bottle this is the sugarful from uh michelle germain but they sold these bottles in this it's the exact same scent um sometimes you think if you buy something at walmart it's different i've never found that to be true like like a watered down version i bought the original one which comes in like the big like it's this big like that big and then walmart had these occur not not last month 13 months ago so i bought this one but i also have the big bottle then when sugarful came out or when uh they did the blue i bought it sent it back or sold it or something i don't like it um so i'm gonna wear that this week this is atelier cologne or atelier cologne this is vanilla incense and a lot of people on, on YouTube will spray this and they'll say, oh, I love the incense. That doesn't mean, that's not what that means. It's not incense. There's not incense in this. Not that I know of, but that's not what this means. Um, I forgot what it means, actually. So it's not vanilla incense. That's not what this is. But this is a, I have a hard time with this one. And that's why I've got it to pull it out and try to wear it and discover it and try it with a sweet vanilla lotion or something this week. It's a weird vanilla, but some people really like it. It's not my favorite. So I'm going to push myself. I got a little dent in it. Um, I'm going to put, I think the times that I have worn this, I've had to put something with it. It's just so dry. I'll have to uh, put in the description box what incense means or incense or whatever, but it's not incense. I read that. It's the only reason I'm saying that. Um, Dolce Gabbana, Dolce Garden. I'm surprised I have this big of a dent in this perfume because I really don't play well with this one. And so many people just love this. And that's me, like, Baccarat Rouge 540, can't stand it. There's just so many that people just love, and this was one of them. I mean, it's all right. I guarantee you the times that I've worn this, I've worn it with a vanilla lotion or something. So we're doing that this week. Old school Clinique Happy. This is when you smelled me in the late '90s, early 2000s, you would have smelled this on me. But now they've just, you know, of course they re, they've reformulated this probably about six times since it came out, and I think it came out in '98, which is when I bought it. And when I tell you, I I was in a restaurant. Of course, everything smells good in the restaurant. Everything smells good in a grocery store because a grocery store smells like feet and fish. So you could wear Brute by Fabergé for men and be in a grocery store and somebody's going to tell you you smell good because you do. Because the surroundings smell bad. But anyway, so I was in a restaurant, but this literally, this woman smelled better than anything I've ever smelled in my life. And I couldn't help it. I was like, what do you have on? And she was like, Clinique Happy. It just came out. I went straight. I bought it. I think I told the story before. And I was in heaven for several years. And then they reformulated it. But even like even the last time, I don't know if it's the last time they reformulated it, but the in 2017 it was reformulated. I have not bought any version since then. Because when they when they reformulated it in 2017, I just could not anymore. And this might be one of them. Um I mean the 2017, but literally this is like body spray. It doesn't, it might last if you spray it on your clothing, it might last, but it is a memory of what Clinique Happy used to be. And uh, that is so disappointing. That is so, I can't, I'm so, Clinique, you have disappointed me. I mean, I'm going to wear it because it's still, it has that memory of what Clinique Happy once was. But to all you people that, you know, just getting into perfumes or you young people out there that I've only smelled Clinique Happy that's been out in the past five years or if you just discovered it last year, it doesn't smell like it used to at all. And it's not my nose. This 
is like, it might as well say Clinique Happy Body Spray. I'll power through that one. Okay, what have I got here? This is Contour Sub Pacific Amour de Cacao. Or is it? Yeah, cacao. If any of you, I love this. I love this. I probably have like three bottles. I know, you know how they, uh, some of the CS pieces, that's what I call these, are in the metal. I have, I know I have one of those. I probably have a miniature one too, but anyway, this is great. This beats Chocolate Greedy any day. It also beats Choco Musk, which uh, if you um, are a Choco Musk fan, you have, I don't like fragrance oils that much, but if you're a Choco Musk person and you bought the spray, you have to buy the roll-on Choco Musk to get the full Choco Musk effect because that's an Arabian perfume and they invented the Atars. I mean, that's what they are. They made the sprays because a lot of people like the sprays, but it's nothing compared to that, that oil. So anyway, I just got way off track. Aqualina Choco Lovers, if anybody likes, liked that, um, that was one of my all-time favorite perfumes. Better, way better than Chocolate Greedy. But I have, I like Chocolate Greedy too. Um, and I have it, but this, I would buy, first I would probably buy Cho Choco Lovers first. That's, that might be my favorite. But these are real close. Then, um, Chocolate Greedy, only because I like Choco Musk better, but the spray isn't that good. And I'm not an oil person, but the, the Choco Musk oil actually smells better than Chocolate Greedy. But this smells better than both of them, I think. So, I wear the heck out of this stuff. I love this. So, uh, here's another throwback, Halston. And this is one of the original ones. This is a, the one you can buy today. Um, I'm not sure if I've, I've read about it, how it's terrible. <laughs> today and the company was sold or who at Halston sold to, I don't know but this is an original one um or an original I won't say an original bottle like the first bottle ever made this was this is the pre pre re, pre the reformulation oh that's the airplane I live very close to an airport too close to an airport for my nerves he don't like it either he'll start he'll get real scary to hopefully he didn't hear that um so this is the original Halston. Uh, I have the amber and the amber, I forgot what it's called now. One's in a solid silver bottle like this and one's in a solid gold bottle like this. And they smell awesome, but I love the OG. So I'm going to wear that some this week. This is uh, Avon Rare Pearls. This is the Intense. I also have the original Rare Pearls. I've always, always loved Rare Pearls. And this is a recent purchase. I bought this about two months ago. I didn't even know Rare Pearls made an intent. And if you read about it on Fragranica, uh, they said it lasts so much longer, which I never had a problem with performance from Rare Pearls at all. But they said this one lasts a lot longer. It smells a little different. I'm spraying in the air. <sighs> so good. So good. I don't really have anything to compare it to. It has This one has a scent of its own. I mean, it's just, and it's, there's not a lot of, di I can definitely tell, tell this is Rare Pearls. It's not a different perfume. It's not even supposed to be. Um, intense wise, I would have to do a wrist to wrist test or something. Maybe spray a strip of paper and another strip of paper, one with the intense and one with the regular and smell it the next day. Um, but it doesn't matter. I didn't waste my money anyway because I love this perfume. Uh, but I do need to, I'm going to test that out. So sometime this week I, I will bust out the um, original or the regular Rare, per, rare Pearls intent uh, and get the original Rare Pearls and do a side by side and maybe try to remember in my, my video uh, that I will do after this. Um, telling you guys about my experiences with some of these. Um, how that stood up just in case any of you I, there's a few Avon's that that um, they'll outbeat anything or I'll not not anything but a lot of perfumes that come out today 
This is one of my favorite houses, La Artisan Perfumer. Al Oud with an H at the end of Oud. So it's just the way they spell it. I actually got a sample of this with something that I bought. If you don't like oud, you're not going to like this. Or patchouli. It's, I would say that patchouli is stronger. It Just smelling the sprayer. I'm getting more patchouli than I am. Yeah, this is real patchouli dense. Okay, so this is a patchouli oud perfume. I, I've sprayed it. I mean, I've worn it before, obviously. Um, I love this. But if you don't like heavy patchouli, there's a lot more patchouli in here than there is oud. Or just right now there is. I mean, the dry down, you may get more oud. Um, I have probably six or seven from La Artisan. My favorite that I have from them is Noir Exquise. That is, oh my God, that perfume is heaven to me. So that's it. Oh, here's my little tray that I was, I'm going to try to find from Home Goods um, the bigger round one that'll hold. I'm just going to do 10 in time. See, I'm like 21 minutes. You guys know I talk a lot. Plus, if I do, when I do the next one and show, if I can, now if, if it gets to be too, too much of a a rushed video. I'll just do two separate videos. I'll do There's that rain. I don't know if you can hear it. But he's starting to freak out. It's okay, baby. It's okay. Um, Tell you how this went. My comparisons. If I did, you know, any side-by-sides like with the rare pearls. Um, I may have to end up doing that separate and maybe like make two 15 or 20 minute videos just because I talk a lot. But either way, you'll get you'll get how I liked it if it's going. I don't. I doubt very seriously there's going to be a declutter in anything that I've got right here, unless I just you know can't. I don't. I didn't pull anything that that I really don't think that I have a strong dislike already. So yeah, let me see how he freaks out. I don't know if y'all can hear that rain, but I've got the little calming music, and I've already given him a half a thunder wonder. Um, I'm sure a lot of you guys with, with uh, little animals that get scared already know about them, but they're the treats that, uh, I, and I only give him half because he's so little, but they have the, something in them that are, it's supposed to have a calming effect. And uh, I gave, I think to start with, I gave him like a quarter of one, just, they're little, you know, but, but just because he is so small, but it tells you on there, you know, how much like body weight and stuff like that, but I still only give him half. Where's your little heart? That's the sweetest you eat a face. <laughs> yeah, it's starting to rain. So I, I'm glad I got this done before he started getting real um, spastic over the... Now it stopped. But yeah, it's supposed to go until 8 o'clock tonight, and it's only like 2. So I'm going to load this video straight away, and check in the description, or sometimes I'll pin a comment or something if I say something stupid that I just don't realize I said. And thumbs up the video, subscribe if you have it. Let me know down below what scent you're wearing today. And if you're not wearing a scent, what's the last perfume you wore? I really like to read that stuff because I like to get in a conversation about, just in case you didn't know that about me. <laughs> I could talk perfume all day long. So you guys have a wonderful day and I will talk to you very soon telling you how this week went with these perfumes. Oh, and I've got another short video I'm going to do. P.S. My Saturday night Holy Grail combo, which consists of four things. I'll do that next. And um, maybe, just so it's not a five-minute video, because I hate five-minute videos. I won't even watch them. I don't do the shorts or anything else. I'll go ahead and get out my regular Rare Pearls and, maybe, and my four... Saturday Night Holy Grail, and maybe that'll be my next video. Comparing this with the regular, the intense with the regular, and doing the Saturday Night Holy Grail. Follow me around. Perfume combo. <laughs> okay, have a wonderful day. Bye.